Hello, I'm John from Games for Families. Hello, and I'm Zach from Games for Families. And this is Gizmo. Hello. Um, and he is our magic dog. Well, my magic dog. <laughs> um, and he has eaten so many games pieces that he has got the <coughs> supernatural power, as well as barking at everyone that goes past to tell which of two games is better. So without further ado and barking, let's get on with Gizmo Nose! Gizmo Nose! Uh, hi, this is my stressful game. It's called Enigma. And if you've ever done any of those uh, brain teasers and stuff, this is basically one of those. It is very hands-on, very interactive, loads of fun. And super, super stressful. You will, at some point in this game, draw a card, look at it, and say, how the hell am I supposed to do that? It's, some of the puzzles are really tricky. You've got to link up pipes and build bird's eye views and measure out stuff with maths. I know, maths, I said it, I said it. But it can be really stressful, it can be really fun. If you like puzzles like me, you will really enjoy it and you will whip everybody else's. I chose Scar as a stressful game because it, um, lots of your opponents will be bluffing at um, some points in the game um, because you're basically having to turn over either a plant or a skull and skulls come in different ways really, same with the plants. So the bluffing way is that um, you have to try and turn over, or you have to try and bid how much um, cards you can turn over without getting a skull. And that's where the bluffing comes in because um, you, want, you want to look at the opponent's face but not all the time because um, you want to just go with your guts and sign. And that's why it's a stressful game because it's should I or should I not. Anyway, that was Gizmo Nose. Thank you for watching me lose horribly. Uh, well done for getting this far, and hopefully, see you next time. Bye!